Hello, my dear friends in Christ. How are you doing? This is your servant, Father Anthony, coming your way again. I believe God is still blessing you. Today, let us treat something about the love of God again. Something struck me when I was reading John's Gospel, chapter 13, verses 1 to 13. And it amazed me when he says he had always loved those who were his own. But when the time came for him to show his love, he was with the disciples. And he started washing their feet. Was that how to show love? That was how Jesus wanted to express his, the very depth of his love. When it got to Peter's turn for Jesus to wash his feet, he said no. Jesus told him, if you don't allow me, if you don't accept my humility, then you cannot be part of me. Because he was the king of kings, yes, he was washing the feet of his disciples. What does it mean? You need to admit Jesus' love for you. And how do you do that in the context of humility and love, accepting his love, his service to you? But remember, when he was washing the feet, it was symbolic because the Israelites believed that if you walk to the market and you come back, you have to wash your feet. So if Peter is not accepting that we should wash his feet, it is telling him that he is just not accepting his mistakes. He is not accepting his sins. Do you accept yours so that Jesus can wash yours? Remember he says he did not come for the righteous, but he came for the sinner. Do you admit that you are a sinner? It is only after you have humbly admitted your sins that Jesus' love will abound. After all, the scripture says, it was even when we were sinners that he died for us. As you walk into the freedom, I want you to think about the love of God to be accepted in the context of humility, admittance of our sins, and his love will abound. Think about this. Are you a sinner? Or you are so righteous, self-righteousness. If you are able to admit and humble yourself, Jesus will wash you. He will wash me because he came for us sinners. God bless you and I'll talk to you again. This was your servant. Shalom.